Okay, here's your Whirlpool dryer. So you checked your lint. You don't have any lint. Your vent is not kinked. And it won't turn on. Nothing happens when you push the button. So if you open your door and you look at your door switch, you may find that it's not there. It's busted. It's completely off. Normally there's a little tang, little sensor, little arm that sticks right there. When you shut the door, it turns the timer on basically. So if you don't hear that click when you shut the door, then that little tang up in there for that switch is busted off. Okay, so how do you get this thing apart? Basically, there are two screws, the Phillips screws underneath the lid or the uh, lint filter right here on the top. They come from that side. There's a little disclaimer for you. Working on dryers is hazardous. Consult your local professional. So this is the switch right here. There's two screws that hold it in. And it disconnects here. Sometimes you have to pry these apart. And then unscrew it right up there. And that's how you fix the switch, basically. Okay, we got the two screws off. And we got the switch out here. And this one here, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't have one, I'd have to order one. So what I'm gonna do temporarily is take this, and put a small screw or a piece of something in here to make the switch activate. And you can see by pushing this, that turns the dryer light off and it turns the timer on. When the door is open, that light comes on. So I'm gonna have to stick something in there and glue it in there. I may use hot glue just to glue it in. Just temporarily until I can get a new switch. It's a three wire switch on this one because it's got the light, right? Okay, dig around and I found one. Should have like four or five of these laying around, but it's hard to find sometimes. I did find one. And so basically we just plug her back in. That light should come on because it is still plugged in. However, it is a good idea to unplug when you're putting these in because you don't want sparks flying right so this is basically how it works that little tang when that door is shut it pushes in on that tang and tells the timer to go ahead and fire up and that's the uh, Kenmore Whirlpool tip for today thanks for watching if you need any help contact me I get phone advice, $39-443-8347. It's 707 area code, 443-8347. Fasttech at gmail.com.